Hey everybody, Brian from PMB Homesteading wanted to show you the update for the solid bar LED area. So grab the camera and show you what we got going. You can see the cucumbers are really going nice. These are ready to be out planted in the yard, but because we haven't finished off our peas yet, I don't really have anywhere to put them. You can see these look really nice and healthy. I mean, big green leaves. I mean, you know, they're still, I mean, they're in five inch pots, so I don't think they're gonna get too root bound at this stage. I think I got another week where I can keep them in here. The uh, punakiras are all coming up and looking good. They're starting to get their true leaves. These are the little uh, kind of oblong shaped yellowish uh, Indian cucumber. I grew a couple of these last year, but because I had such dense cover crop in the area where I grew them, they never really took off. And plus I had the tomatoes. I mean, if you guys remember last year, the tomatoes were insane in the garden boxes and they pretty much shaded out anything and nothing else had a chance to grow. So this year we did things a little different. And so, you know, I should get a better cucumber yield. And plus I have that new uh, trellis down in the lower yard that I'm actually gonna take some of these. I'm gonna plant those down in that lower yard, that green sideways trellis that I put in. Because uh, the robins, you know, the little birds, decided that uh, some of the green beans that I had planted in there looked like they wanted to be pulled out. So they were going along and pulling them out and I kept putting them back in and a couple of them died. So I'm gonna be putting some of these uh, cucumbers down there, which they'll leave alone because you know they'll be big enough to where they don't really care and I'll plant those in there. So that'll take the place of some of the beans. A lot of the beans are still gonna be growing in there though, so that's okay. And then of course we have our uh, dormant sweet potatoes that have done nothing. I ordered my slips, so my slips should be here. And then next week, I'm gonna have a video with you guys to show you the uh, trash can method of growing sweet potatoes. So I've got three uh, 22 gallon trash cans that I've drilled holes in the bottom. And uh, they're out throughout the yard. I had, to, I had to hide them in the yard because Paula was like, you are not going to stick those on our patio because I don't want to have a trash can garden. But uh, I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> so, so they're hidden out in the yard. And, uh, you know, eventually the sweet potatoes, their vines will actually grow over the tops of the can. So you won't see the, the gray garbage can. But uh, you know, Paula was looking at that and she's like, no, you're going to have to put those somewhere in the yard. <laughs> I can't see those. Anyway, the uh, this is the... Uh, cabbage. Oh, and the uh, the Market More 76 cucumbers are actually starting to come up. I don't know what the deal was. They must be like the slowest germinating cucumbers I've ever seen, but uh, compared, you know, I planted them at the same time as these. Those are the reseed of the originals, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're quite a bit behind these, so, you know, Market More, uh, the seed must have just been old. Then, you know, the cabbage, it's growing okay. Some of it's starting to tip over. So, I mean, I need to get this stuff out in the sun. So it'll get a little more sun because I think it's getting a little leggy because I don't know if these LEDs are giving it enough light that it wants. So I'm going to probably take these and put them outside and sit them for the sun to get to because these are a little bit deeper and I don't worry about them getting too dried out. But like if I take these little, little guys out there, they'll dry out really quick and then they'll probably end up dead. So I'll keep them in here. But that's kind of the update. Uh, you know, sweet potatoes. I'll probably end up taking those upstairs and let Paula cook those because I don't think there's, you know, they haven't started to rot yet. They're not soft, so they seem to be okay. All right. Well, that's the update for the salad bar LED tent. I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.